Today we're learning how to create an abstract 3D title scene to help enhance your portfolio of work. So for those of you that are ready to create something awesome, my name is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. Be sure to drop a like on this video and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is make our text and then get them set up as 3D layers. We'll start by selecting the text tool. I'll go over to the character panel, set the font to Baybass Nui, set the size to 200. We want the fill color to be black, the stroke color to be white, and the stroke size to be two pixels. I'm gonna type out motion for our first word, center it in the middle of the composition, then right click the text, select pre-compose, we'll name this pre-comp text one, and click OK. Open text one, go to composition, composition settings, and decrease the dimensions so that the composition wraps tightly around the text like this. Back out to the main composition, now we'll use the text tool to make our next word. I'll type out design, then I'll align it and pre-compose it just like we did with the last text layer. I'm going to name this one text2. Open this layer up, go to composition, composition settings, and wrap the composition around the text one more time. Now we'll go back to our main composition. I'm going to scale up both of these layers to around 225 to fill up the composition a bit more. Then I'll reposition them so that they're offset like this. Highlight both pre-comps, enable them as 3D layers, press Ctrl D to duplicate them, press P for position, then put a minus 15 at the end of the Z position and press Enter to move the duplicates back 15 pixels in 3D space. I'm going to fast forward while I repeat the process of duplicating the pre-comps and moving them back 15 pixels until I have around 10 duplicates. You can keep going though if you want your text to be deeper. And after you're done when you rotate the camera, it should look something like this. Next, we'll set up our camera and create a looping animation for it. Start by going to Layer, New, Camera. Click OK, then go up to Layer, New, Null Object. Parent the camera to the null object and make sure both layers are 3D layers. Highlight the null object, press R for rotation, then set the X, Y, and Z of the null's orientation to 25 degrees to get this nice starting angle, and then set a keyframe for orientation at the start of the timeline. Move forward a few seconds on the timeline, change the X orientation to 50 degrees, Y orientation to 30 degrees, Highlight the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes. Feel free to play around with the angles here. You don't have to copy exactly what I do, just experiment until you find something that you like. Hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch for orientation, then type in loop out, parentheses, quotation, ping pong. This will make the camera animation loop back and forth for the duration of your composition. And now our camera animation is set up and ready to go. Lastly, we'll finish off this composition with some post-processing effects and textures. First, go to Layer, New, Solid, set the color to be mostly black, and click OK. We'll put this at the bottom of our layer list as our background layer. Next, I'm going to import three texture stock images and put them at the top of the layer list. Enable them all as 3D layers, then go through and scale each one of them up so that they cover the whole screen during the entire camera animation like this. Now highlight all the textures, set their mode to screen so that they overlay on top of the composition, then go through each texture and decrease their Z position by a few hundred randomly so that when the camera moves, there's variety in the textures. You can see now that when I pan back and forth, there's a field of particles all around the composition. Next, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, then Effect, Stylize, Glow, Set the glow radius to 100 and glow intensity to 1.4. And you're done! A super easy but visually engaging 3D text composition to use in your projects. As you may know, creating motion graphics can be really challenging and time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce amazing work under one simple subscription price. For example, you can easily preview templates, let's say from our Pulse Pack, and then just click Apply. Now you can quickly change the template parameters, and you're done. So if you're looking to get an edge in your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. We're at the end of the video, so be sure to subscribe for more post-production tutorials, and remember, always be creating.